So to give us reaction is reversible. Uh, they want the activation energy for the reverse. Uh, and then they want to go the box. So it's a pretty typical type of question. So let's just do the profile part first. And you'll see how to make part, the first part finding the activation energy a little easy. Um, so this is the uh, reaction coordinate. Or progress of reaction here is like the energy or potential energy of the reaction, however you want to label it. Uh, and then this, since it's a positive, is an endothermic reaction. So that means the reactants A plus B are at a lower energy starting point than the products C plus. And that difference is 21 kilojoules. Okay? So the reverse reaction is exothermic. And then we know there has to be some hump here. Okay? Uh, it also gives us the activation energy in the problem. Is that right? I just want to double check. 84 for the forward reaction? Okay. So we also know this number. Eighty-four kilojoules. Basically it's the height of this hump from the reactant point to the very top of the hump. So if we wanted the activation energy for the reverse reaction, uh, it would just be 84 minus 21. 63 kilojoules. So that would be the activation energy going in reverse. And the enthalpy going in reverse would be negative 21 kilojoules. Does that make sense? OK. So the reverse reaction is actually a little more favorable, because you go lower in energy, it has a lower hump. Etc. Uh, and that's true for exothermic. Endothermic is usually harder to do. You have a hard, bigger hump, uh, and, and you're going up in energy for the products. Done.